local teenager is killed in a late night shooting. Now one person is under arrest in connection with the crime, but police are still trying to figure out who pulled the trigger or triggers. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where the shooting happened on Grinnell Street in New Bedford. And tonight, one neighbor tells us the frightening attack has left her living in fear. Iowa News News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live from New Bedford Police Department with the latest on the investigation. Mike, less than a week into the new year, the police here in New Bedford already are investigating the city's first murder of 2011. Violence broke out just before midnight here in the south end of New Bedford. Neighbors heard gunfire. How many gunshots? Um, my husband said six. We heard one, and then I wasn't sure how many after, but he counted them and he said six. What did it sound like? Pops. Like, loud pops. The police say 19-year-old Anthony Jones of New Bedford was shot and killed outside a home on Grinnell Street. Investigators were still on the scene today interviewing neighbors and trying to piece together exactly what happened and who did what. Madam Jason Guzman. This afternoon, 19-year-old Jason Guzman of New Bedford went before a judge accused of lying to the police in connection with the murder. The prosecutor said Anthony Jones, the victim, came to Jason Guzman's apartment on Grinnell Street to settle an argument. She said shots were fired that killed Anthony Jones, and that when investigators questioned Jason Guzman, he kept changing his story. The defendant was uh, questioned about what happened, Your Honor. In his first story, he says he's not even there at all, gives an account how he's home at some point. He, someone comes to pick him up. He goes to 7-Eleven. He comes home. The police are around. He has no idea what's going on. The police also arrested a 15-year-old juvenile on illegal weapons charges in connection with the murder. Meantime, a judge ordered Jason Guzman held in prison, and afterwards his mother told us he did nothing wrong. We'll show that footage new at 6. Live at police headquarters with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.